Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto. Hope you're all doing great and welcome to your daily Bitcoin update, which for the first time in quite some time, uh, we can be positive again. All right. Positive on the short term. Not sure if we can be positive on the long term. We'll see. That very much depends on, on the price right now as well. Uh, because the main resistance level, I think, is this level right here between, well, ultimately 66 and 67,000. Um, we've already broken about 66,000. I mean, yesterday after the after the CPI and inflation rate data, which was one of the main causes uh, of this of, of this bullish momentum, not the only cause, but one of the main causes. Uh, but after that, we got some major bullish breakouts, broke above this trend line right here. First of all, at 63,500, then also broke above this local top at 64,500. And now we're at that key level. Um, but if you look at the daily, for example, I mean, if you if you, if you compare the movement we have right now uh, to the to the last time we were at this level, which was the end of April, I would say right now we're actually a little bit more bullish. Like like we had some um, we had some bigger breakouts and we have a, a bigger support level to the to the demand side. Um, but still, I mean, the situation still in in the markets is not amazing. All right, if you look at some some bigger indicators, like just in general sentiment, volume, etc. Uh, that's not amazing. I mean, right now, the volume for Bitcoin is quite high at $42 billion. That's a good sign, I would say. The last time we, we hit a volume this high uh, was not too long ago, but the last time was the, the, the 1st of May when we dumped a lot. All right. So the last time we were actually bullish with this much volume. Uh, I don't know. I mean, it was it, it, it was also at the end of April right here. But this start is, is, is a little bit more bullish, I would say. Um, but all right, so 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 that's what's going on right now. But in the end, I do think we need a little bit more confirmation to assume that on the short term, we will get bullish market circumstances. And what you see right now, for example, as well, is that Bitcoin really is the best performer. Um, but, uh, but the Bitcoin dominance is still increasing, super bullish. All right, so what you ideally want to see is that the Bitcoin dominance starts to fall down a little bit. Uh, so that altcoins also have the chance to rally. Some altcoins still rallied, so it's not the end of the world, but that's what you would like to see um, if you want a little bit more of a, 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 a real bull market. Um, so far, I don't know. So if, you, if, if we talk about the technicals, look, I do think on the short term we are bullish. If you look at this open interest, in a matter of a day, uh, over, over $2 billion in positions were opened, most of them uh, long orders, of course, Spot buying, I'm still not convinced by. And just in general, this resistance level, I do expect a bit more resistance from this. Now, ideally, and we all want to see this, um, we want to see a breakout above 67,000. All right, if we can break above that on the four hour time frame and actually hold it, we're going to be bullish. All right, do I expect that? First price target 69,000, by the way. Uh, do I expect that? No. Do I think it's a possibility? Yes, but I, I, I would say it's more likely right now um, even though we have gained a lot of momentum and even though the volume is very, very high, I think it's a bit more likely that we will get some sort of a pullback. Um, and there, like I said, we do have major support right here between 65,000 and well, ultimately all the way down to 63,500. Uh, but let's say 64, 65,000 major support level. I would say it's more likely to get some sort of a pullback into that. And then from that level, if we gain open interest again, um, so not something like this, but just in, in general uh, that it goes up from that level. That means that more buy more buyers are, co are coming in there. Then I think we can break above 66,500 later to get up to 69,000, which at this moment it is most likely to get up there. Um, it's just uh, the, the, the main question is, is can we break out now or do we have to get a pullback? And if we get that pullback, but I will keep you updated on that, there's always a chance that this turns into a big bull trap. Uh, but that's something we'll have to see. For now, like I said, I am fairly bullish on Bitcoin. Um, and, uh, and, and some sort of a drop here would also not be bad if that means that the Bitcoin dominance falls down. Because that means that altcoins can not recover, but altcoins will stay stable. And then they can rally when Bitcoin finds support. Um, but keep your eyes on that level, right? 67,000, main level to break. Looks most likely it's going to break. I think it's more likely to get some sort of a pullback first. Uh, but those are my thoughts. Thank you for watching. Take care. And bye.